Welcome back to Professional Fitness Education. Today we're tackling one of the most crucial and often misunderstood aspects of effective resistance training. How hard should you work? Are you really training to muscle failure? If you want to maximize muscle growth and see real results, understanding this concept is essential. Perhaps the most frequently asked question is, how many reps should I do? The simple answer? You should do as many reps as you can with proper form, pushing to momentary muscle failure or MMF. This is the point when you have fully fatigued the working muscles so that they can no longer complete another repetition correctly. You have to push yourself to work this hard, but the benefits can be amazing. It is truly hard work indeed. Many people will stop the exercise before really reaching failure. When you really reach failure it means you attempt another repetition, but you fail to complete that rep getting stuck, usually about halfway up on the lifting phase. You try with an all-out effort but you cannot complete that rep, that is you have failed to do the last attempted rep. Why is training to muscle failure so important? Training to failure is vital because it will recruit all your currently available muscle fibers, thus stimulating your body to recruit additional muscle fibers for your future workouts. This is the process of getting stronger. Working to momentary muscle failure is the best way for you to stimulate your major muscle groups to improve. To achieve this, your sets should generally last between approximately 45 seconds and 2 minutes. Too short means the weight is too heavy. If you can continue for too long, the weight is too light. This brings us to another key concept, time under tension or time under load. Instead of just counting reps, you may want to focus on the time your muscles are being exercised under load of the resistance. Ideally, you want to reach muscle failure within that one to two minute window. Let's look at the terminology of a repetition. During the lifting phase, you're performing a concentric contraction. In other words, the muscle is shortening or contracting. The lowering phase is the eccentric contraction when the muscle is lengthening back down to a stretched position. Both phases of the movement are crucial for muscle growth. Keep in mind that the eccentric phase, the lowering of the weight, is considered to be very important. So, lower the weight slowly. Now many people train using a common 8 to 12 rep range. While this is a very good guideline, but it's not the ultimate rule. Your muscles do not know how to count. They do know if they have to contract with a high level of intensity. Reaching a specific predetermined number of reps does not really matter. What matters is reaching muscle failure regardless of the exact rep number. Let us say you are performing push-ups. You perform your push-ups with good, slow, and controlled movements through a full range of motion until you can't go any further because your muscles are so fatigued you get stuck about halfway up. That's concentric momentary muscle failure, then you slowly lower yourself back down to the floor maximizing fatigue, you are done. To track your progress, you can pay attention to time under load or have a goal of reps, such as 12 or 15 reps. If you can perform more strict reps or continue for a longer amount of time, you are getting stronger. When you can consistently reach your goal, either reps or time, Consider increasing your weight by a small percentage for the next workout. Use a relatively small increase, such as 5 to 10%. This is progressive overload training, using more resistance or more reps as you progress. This approach is what makes high-intensity training, or HIT, so incredibly effective. Because you're pushing to muscle failure, your workouts will be hard, but they should be shorter and less frequent, which is perfect for busy schedules. Remember, it's not about arbitrary rep numbers, such as being told simply to do three sets of 10 reps. It's about pushing to full muscle fatigue, muscle failure with proper form. This will lead to optimal muscle growth and strength gains. If you're looking for real workout effectiveness, focus on training with high intensity and working to momentary muscle failure. For more professional fitness education and exercise information, subscribe to our channel and check the description for some very valuable resources.